What's up, dysfunctional geeks? Hey guys! Today, we're doing some hairstyles! <laughs> you know, right now it's summer, it's getting hot, Ugh. and a lot of us, especially me, don't like wearing their hair down yeah. during summer. So we're going to show you some easy hairstyles that you could do. Or just something a little bit more spiced up. Mm -hmm. For the summer, so let's do this. Our my two that I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna show you how to make a nicer ponytail, and the twist one. Now everybody's probably heard of this, but it's something easy and quick to do. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a milkmaid braid that I've probably you've seen a lot of people do. That was the easier one, and then I have a little bun. I'm gonna do it's a little bit more spiced up. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it goes. Mm -hmm. I've only done it a couple of times, but it's one of my favorite hairstyles, and it keeps everything up yeah but i'm gonna leave my bangs down because i like framing my face mm -hmm. so let's do this so first off i'm going to do the braid for the ponytail and you can start yours too and i'm gonna start the milkmaid braids i'm gonna split it down the middle i'm not gonna get rid of my part line so i'm just gonna do it lightly so with the nicer ponytail you just want to take like a section of hair eh, probably about a good size Maybe just go like behind your ear, maybe, and go up from there. And what you're gonna do with the milkmaid braids, you're just gonna have two ponytails. I'm only tying this off so it doesn't get into this side. And usually, what I do, I'm gonna do the way Kate usually does it, and I've done it before too. It's just depending on my texture of hair. I don't like to do this way. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll French braid it and just braid it all the way down. But actually, I'll do a Dutch braid so you can see the braid, though. If you don't know what a Dutch braid is, you just do it from the outside to inward. Mm -hmm. That way, the braid pops up. And what I'm doing, I'm just doing a regular old braid, you know. And it doesn't matter if there's, like, a huge piece just hanging out because it's going to go in the back anyway. And I'm going to kind of pull mine out just because some of it's kind of tight. And that's a good idea, especially with either of these braids, especially the made the milkmaid one. The milkmaid braid is supposed to be like really just easy and it's supposed to be like really kind of messy, mm -hmm. hence the, the name of it. Mm -hmm. Kind of like back on the farm kind of style. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to be like tight. If you do it too tight, it kind of seems like you're trying too hard. Yeah. I'm I gonna swipe one of these because I forgot mine. <laughs> and I tend to do this braid, this hairstyle, if I'm like sitting in bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I'll just be like, I don't want to do anything. I've, I've done this one a lot during the summer. Then you just take a rubber band and tie it off. Then what you want to do is just take it and put it back in the ponytail. And then uh, voila. Fabulous. Fabulous. Something easy, something cute, and it just spices up the ponytail a little bit. Because, I mean, I like wearing ponytails during the summer, but it's like... I want to spice it up, so. And if you want to, mm -hmm. and I've done this a couple times, I French braided both sides of it, mm -hmm. and I know one girl from my past class who had bumped up, like done a little bump with her bangs. Mm -hmm. So you kind of give it like a cool sporty effect. If you're one of those that like wants it a little bit tighter, because mm -hmm. this one's just a little bit more easy. I mm -hmm. like easier, but that's just me. <laughs> my thing is, I like quick and easy. You're also going to need some vibe pins. <laughs> Because now what you want to do, and that's and this is the reason why I don't like doing this hairstyle. Mine kind of does a loop, mm -hmm. but you can pin it down if you want to. I'm going to lean this way just for a second. Good. Yeah. She has a mirror over here, so. <laughs> just go in and pin it. I'm one of those people that doesn't care sometimes if the end bits show up. Mm -hmm. What you could probably really just do is, is use the other braid. To kind of hide it. To kind of hide it. So that's what I kind of do. You just have to feel for it. Because like it feels like right there, I'm probably going to put an extra bobby pin there. Mm -hmm. If you don't like your bobby pin showing, I'm sorry. <laughs> this one, you, it shows. I mean, it, find the best of, like bobby pins that will show closest to your coloring. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much it. It's simple and easy. And it keeps your hair off your neck. So Yeah. If you're one of those likes to have your bangs put away, you can braid it into it. Mm -hmm. I will usually do that if I French braid it. Mm -hmm. But because I don't have a lot of hair, this is easier if I French braid and then put it up. Yeah. And having so much braids. Yeah. Woo. 
Next hairstyles! Mine's a little bit longer, but it looks cool at the end. Hopefully it just worked out now, though. Because I've seen this this way, different ways. The first time I tried this hairstyle, it didn't work out so well. And it's probably one that a lot of people want to do, and it's the upside down braid. Mm -hmm. But it's easier if you... Sp and I'm going to do two French braids, actually. With that long, luscious hair. Roar! The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find my bangs, and I'm gonna get a little rubber band here in a second, and just kind of tie them away. Now that my hair's all nice and brushed, I'm just gonna get any kind of headband, really, but you want one that's kind of small, like this, like that, just something small. And you can, it doesn't have to have flowers on it. I just like the flowers. And what you want to do is, you want to put it horizontal, like a hippie kind of sort of. <gasps> yeah, hippie style. Ooh. Flower power, baby. And what I tend to do is just take a small section of it, like this, take it, and tuck. And what I'm doing right now, because I'm going to split this off actually into two braids. I'm gonna pot I'm gonna yeah, ponytail the top half. So I did it from temple up. And I'm gonna go upside down how and do the rest of this. This way is not a lot of hair you're in control of. Mm -hmm. So see y'all in a little bit. And then you just take another piece with the same piece you did earlier and you just keep on twisting it. And what's really nice about this too is that if you like the no if you like to curl your hair but you don't like using a wand or anything cuz yes. I don't you can just take it and just twist it in and with your hair wet and sleep on it and then wake up with beautiful luscious curls or if you like me just wear it for a couple of days yeah <laughs> but i'm just kind of doing it from upside down you really just have to do it by feel it's gonna take you a couple of times. If you want to have somebody nearby, mm -hmm. <laughs> just to make sure you're not getting the rest of it stuck into it. Cause like already now I lost a piece of my hair. <laughs> but if you do that, just find a new piece. And that's what I'm just gonna do. Cause that's all you can do. And with this, I don't like to go all the way across. I like to leave just like a little piece of hair in the back down. And I'll show you why here in a second, but... And then I'm going to sight the other side. Then what you want to do is just take the rest of it. And just kind of just tuck it. And just kind of make like a little small bun with it. Just something easy to do. So I finished the first part. I didn't do a lot of hair on my bottom this time. I've done it before. It's not the best I could feel. But I mean, if I braid it just a little bit longer and I'm tying it off. Oh, fabulous. Back in the world. And then what I do is I just take it and move it up a little bit. And if you have, like, I have, like, some hair that's kind of poofed out. That's okay because it's, it's a boho style, really. It's supposed to kind of look sloppy. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I like, I love this hairstyle. Just because it's so easy and so quick. Let me start one right quick. <sighs> I got one side, one <laughs> section braided. Now I'm gonna braid this section. You if have you're fun with that. <laughs> if you're like any, if you're like me and you like braiding, then you want to do this hairstyle. I try to spend more time in the summer braiding since in college, we don't ever have time. Mm hmm. Because we pretty much wake up like an hour and 30 minutes before class <laughs> and we just lay in bed for literally 30 minutes or even an hour. Yeah, depending on what class we have. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go. Mm -hmm. I'm, probably, I'm gonna take bigger chunks because I want my bun to be slightly higher today. And it even looks great with glasses too. I know that sounds so dumb, but sometimes like hairstyles don't look good with glasses. Because you don't ever see models like especially Tumblr pictures, mm -hmm. they're like, um, they don't ever wear glasses. They're all pretty. Or 
would her makeup done? Guess what? Who cares? Mm. Okay. My, my thing is when it comes to hairstyles is where I don't care if my hair doesn't look good with my glasses because I need my glasses to see. We're blind. Exactly. We're really blind. Yeah, I mean, you wanted to. I don't know why. I've seen this as a hairstyle, too. I've seen people do double ponytail to make their ponytails longer. So if you were to stop here, you could have a long ponytail. <laughs> you don't want to do a bun. But I'm going to hop in and do a bun. So really, though, take your two braids. I'm actually going to use an extra hair tie for this one. I tend to not use hair, t uh, hair bands when I do my bun. Because mm -hmm. she likes the roll method. Yeah. But... Now I'm gonna take out these braids right here, my little mini one. So if you want to, you could just stop here. Mm -hmm. This could just be your ponytail. Yeah, that's another nice version of a ponytail. Ooh. Just two braids. But then it covers the bottom braid. That's mm -hmm. the only issue. Yeah. But I've done it like this just for like going to the pool. Mm-hmm. So you don't get your hair wet. <laughs> yep. And since I don't have a lot of hair left now, I would roll it, but I think I'm just gonna do a slightly easier way, since I did the rest kind of complicated. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna tuck it and then just spread it out. If you don't like tucking it, just roll it. <laughs> but that's mine. I'll yeah. probably do a close up since mine's like two braids. But I have one here. I did a Dutch braid there, and then my back one's probably bad, but. Yeah. Voila. Voila. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> <Ooh>. <sighs> But those are technically five summer hairstyles. Yeah. So, I mean, like this video, give this video a thumbs up, and take pictures and show us of all your cute summer hairstyles. Yeah, show us your different way of using our hairstyles. Exactly. Is there you... might be a cuter way that we like. I mean, it's your hair. Do what you want to do with it. Exactly. But we'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye!